like father, like son. Well, not quite like they did under Dick Bennett. The Cougars under Tony Bennett will grind you to death defensively. But this addition of Washington State is scoring 10 points more a game. The Cougars off to a 7-1 and one start. Gonzaga and Washington State straight ahead. You just been included in the pool. Bodies on the floor from both sides as Bennett substitutes for the first time. Taylor Rochesti is on the floor. Rochesti, the transfer out of Tulane University. And Gonzaga does a nice job also changing defenses up. They run man to man and press in, and also they run zone. Their shots come out of their offense. The only guy that's got a free reign out there to pull up if he has the ball on the dribble is probably Rabio. Other than that, it has to come within the frames, framework of the offense. Into the corner, Rochester gets a chance to drive the lane, and Congo is hammered by Pendergraft as he goes to the rack. That's one of the toughest plays. Break down. Look at the openness right there. Even Ivory Clark was open in that situation. But if you take the baseline, you're going to get the defense to turn their heads and then make the pass to the guys coming down. It'll work almost every time. At Utah, Cowgill was five on the yard. And you just, as a defender, you get tired of chasing them all the time. Altador Cespedes is pushed off. And just like that, Exy's got three personal fouls. That's won't, they won't see him for a while, but Rochester keeps scoring on those runners like that. You'll see him all night. You, you bet Tony Bennett will take those kind of shots all the time and left-handed just like Tony is himself. Him nine points tonight. Heidfeld, 17 points, a team high, eight rebounds. He's shooting 53% from the floor, and there you see the team numbers. Gurgers have got to pick that up if they're going to have a chance here. Well, you we said the staple mark of this team is defense, and they really don't allow teams to shoot that well, but uh, the Zaggers do a great job of getting shots out of their offense. You don't see guys run past Rabio very often. Rochesti just did. He's got consecutive field goals for the Cougars. Harmling has a rebound. Well, the one thing that the, the Gonzaga tries to do, too, is they like to pressure on the perimeter, and they got to know that if they get up in pressure, that they got somebody back there to block their shots or cover their back. That time, the Chester didn't have anybody to challenge. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's from Texas. That's an alien country, too. Yeah, he's talking about Nikola Koprovice, who is now in Bennett's lineup for Washington State. I, Pendergraf, though, from Brewster, Mallon from Spokane. Rabio from Vancouver, Heitfeld. Oh, there you go. If you're a Cougars fan, you needed that from Rochesti knocking it down beyond the arc and turning this into a five-point game. Well, you got to stay close. You can't let Gonzaga get away from you because they will build the lead and then they will deliberately on the half-court shot, half-court uh, sets, start setting you up for everything. Washington State, eight of 20, but three of six beyond the arc, and they are holding in. Gonzaga, who's able to come up with stops on the defensive end and keep you from scoring. Cargo seemed to lose control as he drove into the lane. You know, the fans in Spokane have really come to like Jeremy Pargo. Not because he eats cheeseburgers at defense to recover, and the ball went from the right side of the floor, or the left side of the floor, to the right side, and that makes it hard on those two guys like Derek Rabio and Jordan Mast out there trying to guard three guys. Great player rotation, I think, by Bennett. He's really pulled a couple of different clubs out of his bag. Robbie Calvin putting the ball on the floor doesn't seem quite natural. <laughs> it's not. He's a big boy. Rochesti. Oh, he's fouled by Pargo, so Rochesti will shoot three from the line. Well, you know what the rule number one is on a jump shoot. Don't foul him in the act of shooting. In that net case, this time he gets three opportunities because he was behind the line. Challenge the shot, but stay away from him with your body so you don't get the foul called on you. Rochesti, averaging 11 minutes a game, not has had trouble. That's four missed free throws in a row now. Rochesti has had trouble coming into the ballgame, 22% from the floor, but tonight three of four. 
So again, another guy who has stepped up his game. Finally, they break the free throw drought. Points this half. Rivio, Heitfeld, six apiece. Pargo three for the Bulldogs. From the line, seven rebounds, and Lowe has got to work great. Save for Rochester. Oh my, almost threw it away. <laughs> a little too much adrenaline there. Two opportunities. It looked like they were just going to go right down Gonzaga's way, but the Cougars come up and catch the basketball. The drives, kicks. Bolden takes a look out to Heifel over the outstretched Clark. Rochester's rebound. Jesse's played big for the Cougars tonight. He's come up with some great aggressive moves on the offensive end, and he secured on defense a couple of rebounds for him. 15 turnovers for Gonzaga, only seven for Washington State. Harmeling for three, counter. There's nothing better than the inside game and then going out to the outside. Kyle Weaver got the ball in the post. Drew the defense in, found the three-point shooter, Harmony out there all by himself. Have not come easy for Washington State. Boy, right through Heitfeld's wickets, and Harmony again is going to be short. Rochester, though, battling for the rebound, and he's fouled on the way to the rack. Oh, you're right. I saw the stat. They're, when they play ranked opponents, it's a bad <laughs> chance for Washington State to win. If Gonzaga comes into this game ranked 18th. But the Cougars play them very tough. A couple years ago, it was just a two-point game down here. By five, seven lead changes this half. Washington State has its biggest of the night. Rivio rimming. Rochesti with the rebound. And there is a guard getting the rebound, and that's a great opportunity because usually if you're guarding another guard, he won't crash the offensive board. So get in there and help your big guys out. And Rochester's done a nice job for that tonight for the Cougars. Derek Rivio has been bothered by the Cougars. The Jagger has won seven straight games over Washington State. A 20 to 5 margin in the Cougars' favor the last six and a half minutes. They will score the basketball, but as we said before, tip-off, they will continue to defend you to death, and all of a sudden, my goodness, they can shoot the three. Well, that's the person you want to shoot. David Harmley has great form and great side, but man, you know, I will tell you, and thank you. And Harmelin, too, with 20 points. Yeah. Out of bounds to Gonzaga with 18 seconds left. A 10-point Washington State lead. Can you believe it? I guarantee you that Washington State can believe it. Right. <laughs> I tell you, it's going to be a happy locker room. Long bus ride home for the Zags tonight, but they'll get busy again. Washington, well, they've got to because Washington comes to town. Bulldogs started 10 of 13 from the floor. They are 21 of 45. I'm not that good at math, but Josh Heitfeld can do the math on the clock. How about it? Bulldogs concede. Washington State has its most spectacular victory in a very long time. Go ahead and enjoy. Fans can mop the board. Sweet this is for the Cougars. since 1995 at Brio Court. Upwards of 12,000, and I think we'll soon have a couple thousand <laughs> on the floor here as Washington State knocks off a top 20 team in the Bulldogs of Gonzaga. But is this the essence of college basketball? Is this what you come to watch and see? The underdog took advantage of it tonight. Drew off of this crowd, I guarantee you, once they started making baskets and did not let their fans down. First time the Cougars have ever beaten the Bulldogs when Gonzaga was ranked nationally. 